Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk you through the whys and hows of passive voice. Hmm, what? But that's a hard nut to crack, you'll say. Yes, I know, but I have faith that if the two of us stick together, we're going to bring that off, aren't we? <laughs> so, I was saying in the beginning, the whys and hows. So why? Because all we want is to shift attention from the person who's doing the action for different reasons that we're going to get into right away. And how, that's how the passive voice is formed. We need to know that and also give as plenty examples as needed for you to be able to use it individually and without fear anymore and also see, get to see how it's used and how it's applied in everyday life. So all of that in six easy steps or situations, call them as you want. And now if you're ready, let's just get down to it. Use number one, action more important than agent. Now let's take a look at these examples. The dates for the next meetings were established a couple of weeks ago. Lots of cards and chocolates are exchanged on Valentine's Day. In the survey, we were asked about the level of satisfaction with our studies. So, as you could see in all of these three sentences, what we've done is just take the appropriate form of the verb to be in the tense we want to use. I mean, depending on the time we want to express either the present or the past, as we've used here, are were, is, was, you know, and then the past participle of the verb to conjugate. Easy, right? So we had, were established, are changed, and were asked. Now, let's do it the other way around. Just try putting one of the sentences in the active voice and put more stress, more emphasis on the person doing the action. For example, with the example on Valentine's Day, lots of people, how would this sound? Lots of people exchange cards and chocolates on Valentine's Day. Do you think this one sounds better? Does it still have the same impact? I don't think so. It definitely does not. Why? Because here it's the action that matters. So try doing the same thing with the other two sentences or better with your own examples. Use number two, agent is obvious or not important, so no need to mention it. Let's take a look at these examples. Pizza will be delivered to your door in 10 minutes. And your bank loan is being approved right now, so just 10 minutes to go. So as we could see, here agent is obvious. Who will deliver pizza to your door? Of course, the pizza boy. So yeah, no need to say that the pizza boy will deliver your, uh, your pizza, but the other way around with the passive voice here. And in the second example, who is approving your bank loan? Of course, the bank staff, right? Use number three, doer of the action is unknown. So another type of situation with the agent of the action. And the examples are the money that was raised at the concert was donated to the refugees. And on YouTube, millions of videos are streamed every day. So as you could see, again, the forums was raised, was donated and are streamed. The passive forms formed with the appropriate form of the verb to be and the past participle of the verb to conjugate. With use number four, passive voice is used with general statements or announcements, just like in the following example. Passengers are kindly requested to fasten their seatbelts. So here are kindly requested. Kindly is that manner adverb that goes in between the form, uh, the present form of the verb to be and the past participle of the verb to conjugate requested. Yes. And on the other end of the scale, we have a passive voice with more personal 
comments or remarks, just like with the following example. Have you ever been told what a smart cookie you are? And in this way, making it sound a little bit more impersonal, I'd say. Now, why don't you just build your own examples in this situation? For use number five, passive voice is used for stylistic reasons in formal writing such as essays, reviews, reports, and proposals. Let's take a look at these examples. Further research in the field of genetics will be carried out in the following years. And the next one, a large number of viewers have been reported to have watched the Super Bowl this year. So I would say for further clarification that with this year's passive voice not only adds that touch of neatness, but also what it does is takes away uh, the personal notes, you know, from, uh, from the sentence and uh, therefore makes it a little bit more impersonal. What do you think? Last but not least, it's situation number six, passive voice used to avoid responsibility for one's actions. Thus, making it sound a bit milder so because you're using a softer tone of voice. Let's take a look at these examples. The light fittings haven't been made according to plan. The measures that have been taken initially haven't been closely followed. So as you can see, what we're getting at is um, avoiding pointing fingers at somebody that should be in charge here and uh, doing it a bit more indirectly. So there you have it. You've made it to the end of my video. I hope you found this useful. If so, be sure to give me a like and also hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss a video on my channel. But we're still not done because I want you now to take a moment and do yourself a favor and uh, be appreciative of the work that you've done so far with your English job. You're doing great and uh, keep doing it. Keep putting the effort and the time in your English journey and you'll be sure to be reaping the benefits in no time. I am seeing it from my own experience. And it's so rewarding. It will certainly pay off, believe me. Now, take this challenge in order to um, be able to recap now. So be sure to leave the answers to my questions in the comments. And they are three of them. What is being done in your town to help improve the public transport? And why is school funding, education funding insufficiently addressed in your region as well or across your country maybe? And the last one, what was the last event held or what was um, the last concert held in your town as well? With this said, thanks so much for joining me once again and I'll see you again next time in my next one. Bye for now.